Hello Hawkeye family, it's Ms. Sands and this video is to hopefully help you navigate the new security measures that have been put onto the uh, Hope County devices for remote learning. Hope County Schools has put on a new safety measure to protect students when they are browsing the internet. Um, you may have noticed this, it just went into effect on Sunday evening. So this will hopefully help you so that you have no problems navigating the internet using your Hope County issued devices. When a student is getting ready to log into their Chromebook, they should open up their device and they should see this on their screen with their name and then a place for them to enter their password. I apologize that some of these screenshots do have my reflection in them. Once the student has entered their password and hit enter, they will automatically be directed to this screen and this is called the landing page. This page actually has a lot of very good information for students. Up in the top right corner, that's what we're going to be talking about today where it says coming soon. But also if they scroll down, they are able to see all kinds of different links that are available for them from NC Wise Owl for Research, Epic has some ebooks on there. They can log in to um, the district web page or to Google Classroom. Also, it's got some links to directly to the remote learning from the district website and how to reset their Google system if they need to. Once a student leaves the landing page, if they either close it out or they try to open a new tab, they will be redirected to a page that looks like this. It will have this white box on it that says sign in. This is the new security measure that was put onto all Hope County devices at the district level. This is just to ensure that students are not visiting sites that are inappropriate or not relevant to their schoolwork. So once they get to this site, all they will need to do is to enter their Hope County Schools email address. So they will need to type in the entire email address, including the at student.hcs.k12.nc.us. Once they do that, they will be redirected to the website they were originally going to. After the first time the student has signed in to this pop-up menu, their email address will be remembered and appear in a drop-down box from the field where they're signing in. They can either type in their entire email address or choose it from the drop-down that appears. Once the student has entered their entire email address in the box and then hit enter, they will be redirected to the website they were originally trying to reach. If you are still experiencing trouble, here are some troubleshooting tips to try. The first thing you should always try when your Chromebook is giving you problems is to shut down the device and restart it. If you are logged into the device, you can sign out by clicking on the red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Once you have clicked the sign out button, automatically a window will appear that will give you a countdown that it will automatically sign you out in 20 seconds, or you can choose the option to cancel that to stay signed in, or you can click sign out now. Once they have logged out of their account, they will go back to the main login screen of their Chromebook. They will need to click in the bottom right hand corner where the battery and the time are shown. A window will pop up and in the upper left hand corner of that menu is a power button. Once they click on the power button, the device will shut down. Once it has shut down completely, you can push the power button on the keyboard to restart the device and log in again. If you have shut down the Chromebook completely and are still having problems, the next troubleshooting tip is to remove the student account from the device and then add it back on as if they are a new user. So restart the device and have the student onto the main login page. Their username should be displayed and a field for them to enter their password. Next to the student's name, you will see a down arrow when you click on that, you will see their name and their email address appear, and then in blue letters, you will see remove this user. You're going to click on the blue letters that say remove this user. Once you click on the blue letters, another message will appear that says all of the information will be removed once you click that, and go ahead and click on the red lettering 
that says remove this user. Their information will still be saved and nothing will be lost once you click this. The student's name will disappear from the screen and down in the lower left hand corner of the screen you will see three buttons, shut down, apps, and add person. Click on the add person button and we will re-add their account to the device. Once you click add person, a white box will appear on your screen that says sign into your Chromebook. You will need to enter the student's entire email address into this field. So be sure to include the at student.hcs.k12.nc.us. Once you have entered their entire email address, go ahead and click the blue next button. Then you will be entering the student's password on the next screen, and once that is entered, go ahead and click the blue Next button. Once you have clicked Next, the student should be redirected to the landing page, and they are successfully logged into their device. If you have completed both of the troubleshooting tips and you are still having problems, you can call the district tech support line at 910-556. 9698. They are available Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Thank you.